This is a follow-up um, video for the Bebop um, series that I had been doing and I wanted to uh, make sure that you are aware that we can play that Bebop ending um, as a conclusion to any descending scalar pattern but the scales don't need to um, start on an actual uh, chord tone they can start on a scale tone that's not a chord tone. They can also start on any chromatic pitch. And so again, it's a matter of how do you get to the closest chord tone and get that chord tone onto a beat. And so there's a lot of chromatic passing tones that you will ins insert between notes. And there are also some uh, enclosures that you will do that will feature chromaticism and some diatonic pitches. So if we're in B flat, we have, and we start on the B flat itself, we have the short ending, one and two and three and. If we start on the next chromatic pitch, it's a B natural. Since B natural is a half step from B flat, which is our closest chord tone, we'll just enclose it. We're already playing the note a half step above, we'll play the note a half step below. So one and two and three and four and one and gets the long ending. If we go on to the C, this one we've already practiced in, a, in an earlier exercise, so we just descend chromatically. And that one gets the long ending, one and two and three and four and one and. Then the next chromatic pitch is C sharp or a D flat. Since we're a half step from D, we can enclose the D. <clears throat> the next note is D, third of our chord. The next note is E flat, we're a half step from D again, so we'll enclose it. Now again, because we have other options, I'll, I'll do some alternative versions of these. The next uh, chromatic pitch is E natural, it's a half step below F, the fifth of our chord. The next note is F, the fifth of our chord. The next note is F sharp. The, um, a half step above the fifth, so we'll enclose the fifth again. The next one is G. G is the thirteenth of our chord, it's a whole step from the fifth. Again, since we're sort of descending to all the chord tones um, that are close. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and. That note is only a half step below the seventh, which feels a little clumsy, jumping up to that chromatic pitch that we've already inserted in between the root of the chord and the flat seven. There's something about that that seems a little odd, but it is possible. So the other alternatives besides that one, um, when we're on the fourth, we could go up chromatically to the fifth, Previously, we had enclosed the third. The other one, if we're on the second, the diatonic note above the root, C, we could go up chromatically to the third of the chord. Treat this as an exercise and start on the root of our B-flat 7 chord and then go up to each subsequent note of the chromatic scale and descend into the sound of the ending um, and get from the starting pitch to the closest chord tone if it is a non-chord tone. The exercise will sound something like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 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 Two